Hello, welcome to this complete tutorial dedicated to KineMaster, one of the best video editing apps for Android and iOS devices. This is our first video dedicated to smartphone and tablet apps. If you like this video, make sure to visit our new channel. KineMaster is the best solution to catch, edit, and share videos straight away with the easiest workflow for mobile devices. In this video, we will use the Android version, but the features do not change with the iOS app. KineMaster can be used for free, although it misses some features such as the chroma key and also includes watermarks. You will have to subscribe for a premium version to get rid of these. When opening KineMaster, its main page shows up with the list of your latest projects made on the right and all the options to start on the left. You can also visit their official YouTube channel and their asset store, useful to download free and premium samples, overlays, effects, and text. To start with a new project, you can either use the magic wand to follow guided steps to define a title, the first media files with any transition, or the main button to start from a new blank project, defining its aspect ratio between 16 to 9, 9 to 16, or 1 to 1. At this point, you can import all the media files to start editing. Use the red button on the right to capture photos and videos with your device right away. Whereas, if you already have your media files, go to Media and browse for either photos or videos. Recognizable through their icon on a corner. All these files are imported on the timeline at the bottom, right after its red marker. They are shown as blocks called clips, complete with thumbnails that you can zoom in and out of directly. With voice, you can also record from your microphone, generating an audio clip in violet color that is placed below the main video clips. Whereas, go to audio to import existing sound files, such as the recorded ones, or your stored audio files in your device under songs, divided by albums and artists below. On top, you can go to Music and SFX Assets to download and retrieve both songs and sound effects taken from the KineMaster Asset Store. When you tap and select any audio file in the list, you also play it back. With the plus button, you can import it into your project, creating a green audio clip showing its volume and time. In case this overlaps other audio files in time, it will lay on a different timeline row. The preview on top shows the project contents under the red marker. To check any part, you can tap and drag on the timeline, or just play back all with the play button on the right. You can also check the volume level from the decibel meter on the left. Use the bottom left button to go at the beginning or in the end of the project. To edit any clip, just tap on it to select it in yellow color and use the tools on the left and the right sides. On the left, use the bin button to delete the clip. On the timeline, drag the clip edge to trim it in time. Whereas to move the clip in time, just deselect it. Hold on it for some time and drag it. On the right side, you can find all the clip properties you can edit. These change according to the kind of clip selected. When selecting images, you can use the scissors to trim and the rotate button to rotate and flip. With pan and zoom, you can move and zoom on the clip, setting placement and zoom for both the start and the end position directly on the preview.
Below, you find advanced adjustments, such as clip graphics to add cool graphics, color filters to add filters, an adjustment to correct brightness, contrast, and saturation levels. Use vignette to add a cool vignetting effect. To close the panel, use the check mark button. In case you make any mistake, use the undo and the redo buttons on the left side. On audio files, you can adjust volume, panning, and pitch with audio. Equalize sound with EQ presets and change the volume and time with volume envelope, saving points with a fixed volume level. In addition, you can use Voice Changer to distort audio and the other options to add ducking, loops, or trimming. On videos, you find the same options seen for both photos and audio files, but also speed to fasten or slower the speed rate of the video saving the audio pitch or not. Reverse to playback the video on the other way. And extract audio to separate its audio part. Next, of each clip, you can tap and select the transitions to add amazing visual transitions between clips. KindMaster gives you the possibility to add other media called layers overlapping the main content of the clips from a second timeline row. These are all collected under layer and can be media files, visual effects, overlay graphics, pieces of text, and also drawings with handwriting. These layers behave like standard clips on the timeline with the difference that you can also move, resize, and rotate these on the preview when selected. The Properties panel on the right shows additional options to customize the layers overlapping. Media layers have the same options seen for the clips, but also split screen to split screen between the clips and the layer. The animations to add animation at the beginning, during, and in the end of the layer. Cropping to crop on the preview and either alpha or blending to add transparency. The effects layer in blue color apply the same effect on all the clips overlapping in time. Choose the effect to apply, add any animation, use settings to adjust the effects properties, and go to shape to change the affected region on the preview. The overlays in red and the handwriting in orange are very similar in properties and options. You can change the graphics to apply or the brushing style for your drawing, including shape, color, and size, using the eraser to delete any drawing on the preview. Pieces of text are in yellow, and you can type inside, change the font family, color, transparency level, and apply great effects like shadow, glow, or backgrounds. In case any layer gets overlapped, use the three dots button on the left to arrange the visibility order between the several objects. While working on your project, this gets saved automatically. You can come back to the main page by using the button in the top right corner. If you want to export your final video, use the share button. Set resolution, frame rate, and bit rate at the bottom using export to start. KindMaster exports .mp4 videos up to 4K resolution, but the rendering options deeply depend on your device specifications. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, 
make sure to check our new channel dedicated to smartphone and tablet apps.